This is Roger Struckoff at Cloud Expo, second day in the afternoon for Cloud Expo TV, and I'm joined right now by Carl Zimmerman with Steadfast. You can see it. See, it says Steadfast right there. Carl was on a power panel yesterday that kind of meandered all over the place. We were talking about transformation. So today we're going to stick to a little more tight topic. We're going to talk about private hybrid cloud, right? Sure. Sounds good. Sounds good. Carl, welcome, and what is Steadfast Steadfast about? Uh, well, Steadfast primarily focuses on as node private hybrid cloud for small and mid-sized businesses, but uh, s unlike the big guys that everyone knows in the cloud space of Google, Microsoft, Amazon, uh, we sort of acknowledge that providing space, compute, all those things is trivial and easy. Anyone can do that. Where we differentiate is on the people side and realizing and recognizing that s most small and mid-sized businesses know they need to move to the cloud, but don't really know how. Uh, they don't really have a strategy around it. They, you know, they don't really know, you know what's the low-hanging fruit of where to start, what to do, uh, where we provide the expertise of really providing the people to help them with that planning, help them with the architecture, and then help them continuously with the continued support monitoring and management as well. Yeah, a lot of times cloud is you know thought to be like this global 2000 Fortune 500 play, and smaller companies can benefit it at least as much. When you, thought, when you say private hybrid, what are the hybrids like? Are they reaching out to public? Or are they doing a lot of things on premises? Or exactly what do you mean by that? Or more important, what do your customers mean by that? Well, I'll say like that hybrid is all of the above. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have customers where they keep a large portion of their stuff on premise and then use us for a backup DR or things that need to be more globally accessed or globally uh, used. Uh, we have other customers that use us as a primary site and then do other global or geographically distributed things across you know aws or azure we have others where i mean with our facilities and our flexibility we can say co-locate a lot of old existing hardware in our facility where they then have a cloud platform for a lot of other things so the, all those things can be on the same network segment and the same thing we're a strong believer in general of use the best tool for the job we're not a like you know, we're not AWS where it's like, no, we have a public cloud platform, so we say the public cloud is the answer for everything. We say everyone in the end is going to go with a multi-cloud or hybrid cloud or whatever type option, so let's help our customers figure out what makes sense where. And that leads to hybrid cloud environments. I mean, rarely is it the same between two customers. Different things make sense for different customers. They have different bandwidth needs. They have different bandwidth concerns. They have different applications. And it's for us working with them to help figure out what is that best balance. Yeah, so I mean, similar challenges in terms of you know, bandwidth resources, uh, human resources, uh, but very specific needs that that yep. each each one's going to have, um, I in its own way. Wh where do you get involved? Do you uh, uh, and I'm going to guess that's all over the spectrum as well, but I don't know. Um, you get involved with people from the very beginning when they're trying to do a migration, or you get involved when they're like, up to here in the water and going help, or. Um, everywhere in between where, where, where do you get involved with, with your customers uh, we get involved pretty much all throughout those spaces Th i will say though the one area that we sort of can't help really i mean we can help give some guidance is a lot of customers coming to us and say we need to move to the cloud but they don't know the why for us like the company itself needs to know and understand the why we don't we're, you know we're not their business we don't know what's driving their business we're not the experts on their business if we know they need to move to the cloud and we know why they need to do it we can help them accomplish that. But if they're just coming to us and say, we need to move to the cloud because we need to move to the cloud, we don't really know what they're trying to accomplish. We don't know sort of what the goals and the objectives are. Um, so, I mean, we can give some guidelines and sort of say like, well, moving to the cloud will give you the options for these advantages, but we don't know which of these you know, 10 advantages are meaningful to you or are gonna push your business forward or propel your business. Um, so, so that's, I guess, the one thing we ask where we can help with and we can help a little bit with, but that's not a decision we can make for our customer. Yeah, I, you were talking about that yesterday. We, we were on a panel talking about digital transformation. And yeah, you get, go through all the technologies and he pointed out if you don't know why you're doing it, there's really no point. You, you're not gonna be very happy is what's gonna happen if there's no goal and there's just no end in sight and everyone's gonna end up frustrated. So if, if um, a company does not really know the why, but yet is willing to try to figure it out. I mean, can you work with them to try to uh, break thing, you know, break the problem down? Yeah, I mean, we can generally, like I said, we have sort of our list of you know dozen things or whatnot where we can sort of go through like is you know is you know 
uh, network security a meaningful thing to you? Is you know global access to your data a meaningful thing to you? Is high level of redundancy or backup and disaster recovery a meaningful thing to you? Like sort of going through a list of like w help them try to prioritize those things. Um, you know, or often the scalability or flexibility and all these things, like how important are these things to you? We can sort of go through that, but if the answer comes back of, eh, I don't know, or not really, we can't go too far. I mean, we've even had customers that, you know, have done the, oh, we've moved this application to two different cloud providers. We haven't been happy with it. Can you guys help us with this? And the answer for us was why, and they're like, well, they didn't know. And we're like, so just move it to host it in-house again. It worked for you. It's why will it not continue to work? They're like, well, but everyone's going to cloud. It's like, yeah, but that's not the that's not a why. I mean, we can help. We still help them as a customer because we help them move other applications and other things and other systems and help them interconnect those two. Uh, but again, it's best tool for the job as opposed to just blindly going after the technology. Okay. So how long have you been doing it? And then the real question is, uh, ha how how or have you seen customer needs change say over the recent time frame? Started doing this largely 20 years ago as basically a, more of a, host, a web hosting side, operation side item, and have been doing cloud since before anyone was calling it cloud, and we hesitated in calling things cloud, but that became the, the terminology and the understanding. So I'd say in the end, the terminology, even though it's not very consistent as to what it means, has been helpful of pulling people into the space. Um, and yeah, over the years, what's changed entirely for us is it used to always be a technical person making technical decisions of why someone was going with our product. Where in the last five years, it's shifted almost entirely to it's a business decision it made by someone on the business side um, that is then pushing sort of that technical side. Um, so we've we've seen the way it's getting purchased change almost entirely. Okay, where do they find you online? Steadfast. Yes, yeah, steadfast.net. That's the way to do it, get involved. You gotta know why, or at least know why you don't know why, <laughs> and then they can help you. They address a broad range of concerns, like we said, similar challenges, very specific needs. Carl, thanks for joining us. If you're watching live, thanks. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks. For Cloud Expo TV, this is Roger Strukoff. <laughs>